Hi, I'm Dave Dinkle. This is Deal Talk number 10. We're going to talk about real life examples of doing deals with no money, no credit, and no risk. Today we're going to look at net profits of $13,000 and $12,000 respectively. Property number one is the A to B top half of the HUD. The student paid $102,000 even for the property. It's the A to B bottom half of the HUD. It needs $102,476.74 to close. The student had no money, no earnest money deposit. Here's the B to C HUD, the top half. Sale price was $119,000 even. Here's the bottom half of the B to C HUD. $13,447.72 profit. $5,000 earnest money deposit from the end buyer. Just in case he defaulted, we still make money. Here's a loan on the property that the buyer took, so it's a hard money loan. There's the transactional funding amount being returned. Property number two, end buyer received a hard money loan to close, just as in property number one. Student paid $110,000 even for the property. It's the bottom half of the A to B HUD. Seller received $81,000 and change. $108,922.53 was needed to close. Student had no money, no earnest money deposit. Now this is the B to C, top half, money shot as you hear me refer to it. Student sold the property for $125,000. Here is the principal amount of the new hard money loan. No earnest money deposit in this case also. Transactional funding was returned to myself, $12,990.72. Net profit. Again, if you're looking at this and saying to yourself, well, $12,000 isn't a big return on $102,000 or $105,000 or $120,000, the student has no money in these deals. If you divide that profit by zero, it's an infinite return. The goal here with transactional funding is to allow you to do deals where you wouldn't have had the money to do them otherwise. So why not you?